best record companies on the planet. That is J Records, headed by the legendary Clive Davis, already signed an impressive list of artists, including Alicia Keys, Rod Stewart, Busta Rhymes, Luther Vandross. This morning, we have two of the label's hot young stars, Monica, and on your birthday, Mario. Of course, it's Ladies First, here to sing the title track off her new CD, All Eyes On Me. Please welcome Monica. Since, well, you're not that old now. Since you were a little bitty thing, come along. And when people see this record, first of all, your hand in writing the records all over it. What are they going to find on this album, Monica? I just wanted my fans to get a chance to know me. Like, yeah. you know, from 13 to now, it's a big difference. So <laughs> I wanted them to be able to see it in the record. Yeah. And uh, on this album, Michael Jackson is uh, on the last record we just heard a little bit of that. Right. How'd that come about? Well, Rodney Jerkins actually produced the record, and he's a good friend of his, and he allowed us to use a sample that meant a lot to him, you know. Yeah. That's good stuff. Can we bring up a gentleman and another gentleman? Clive Davis, the head of J Records, a man who signed you. And Mario, who is the latest sensation. Hello, Clive. Always a pleasure. Mario, good to see you. Let's talk to the man in the middle first. You signed, you've seen her since she was 13. She
She came over to J Records with you from Arista as well. What did you see in Monica when you first saw her? She's got one of the great, great voices in contemporary music. So when you see someone, she was mature at 13. We've had a streak with Monica. She broke the all-time record with three consecutive number one records. She's had six of them already, and she's only 21 now. So this third album, you know, everybody's waiting for it. And this single of All Eyes on Me and with Michael Jackson's approval, I mean, we're off and running. Well, let's go to your left. There's a gentleman standing here. I met you at his party at the Grammys. When you sing at his party, there's a whole lot going on. Mario, what do you see in Mario that you've put in 110% of Clive Davis behind him? You know, he is special. He auditioned for me in my office. No one behind him. Just sang a cappella. And it encouraged me. You know, every year I've got a Grammy party. The night before the Grammy. Last year it was Alicia. This year, right before Stevie Wonder and before Puffy and Busta and right in front of him was Stevie Wonder. I put him on to sing, it knocks me off my feet. He blew everybody away. Stevie came up to me and him and said, I want to write for the next album. So if it's Stevie, and if it really is the whole industry, his record's going to number one, you know, right now, the album's entered the top ten. We have a huge, huge new star in the world. Mario, how old are you, man? Fifteen years old. I don't know if you know what he just said. The man who just said that, when he says that, believe every word that he says, because he knows exactly what he's talking about. What's it like for you at this tender age, out of Baltimore, Maryland, to have this push behind you? I'm loving it right now, man. He showed me a lot of love. His records, you know, has held me down since I first started with them. You know, we ready to go for the ride. <laughs> We've got young in here. We got young in here. We got the two veterans here. We're going to come back. Everybody's going to sing. Mario's going to sing next. This is the early show on CBS. Don't go away. We'll be right back.